Hi YouTube, so this is Ian. Um, she is one of my clients and one of my friends as well. I do her makeup kind of on nearly a weekly <laughs> basis now. Um, so I thought I would get um, Eden in today to do her makeup for like a super glam night out um, because these are my sort of favourite videos to watch on YouTube is like the client makeup tutorials. Like I love to find out people's techniques and stuff for putting makeup on other people. So Eden has the perfect face to do it on. So I thought we would do this today and yeah, hopefully you enjoy it and we'll just get straight into the tutorial. Okay, so first we're gonna use Max Paint Pot in Painterly just with um, a Saweva concealer brush. We're gonna do the eyes first because we are gonna be using glitter. So um, in case any, of it, any fallout happens onto the foundation this way, we can just wipe it away easily. So I'm just going to set this with a wee bit of um, Rimmel Stay Matte just with a wee Morphe brush just so it's nice and set and all the eyelids are concealed so we have a really nice flawless base for any um, eyeshadow that we're putting down. Okay so for eyeshadow I'm going to be using the shade Frappe just uh, by Makeup Geek on just a big fluffy um, brush right across into the crease. This is just our transition colour, just so all the other colours blend much easier. Next we are going to take some Cocoa Bar by Makeup Geek, just on a slightly smaller blending brush and buff this into the corners. This is just deepening up the crease and the outer corner just to give it a wee bit more definition. And then just getting your big fluffy brush with nothing on it and just blending that all out. Next to build up the intensity we're going to take Espresso with a slightly smaller fluffy brush again and concentrating this just on the outer corners. We're not bringing this in at all. And then going upper brushes again, I'm using the medium one and just blending that in. And then just the our bigger one again, just to make sure we have no edges on our shadow. Then on the very outer corner, we are changing palettes and we are taking let me remember the name, Carbon by MAC, the, their black shadow, just on a small pointed brush and we're concentrating this again on the outer corners but even further out than what we put Espresso. And then we're going to go up the shadows and up the brushes again, so back in with Espresso on the same brush and just blend the corners in. And then in again with Cocoa Bear. And then last not but not least, your big fluffy blending brush with a wee bit of fat bag again. Okay, so now because we're going to be doing a gold glitter look, we're going to put on a gold base. So we're going to use Magic, da Magic Act by Makeup Geek with just the Soeva um, Smoky Shader Brush. And we're just going to put this on at the lid. Not really so much swiping it on, but really pressing it on to get it as pigmented as we can. Okay, so now we're going to put the glitter on. So we're just going to use the Helene Fixing Gel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this onto the Soeva Smudger Brush. I'm going to get lots onto the, um, the tip of the brush, just so we can put it onto the eye. And I'm going to simply press it onto the where I've put the gold shadow. 
and then dip it into my MAC um, gold glitter and then press it on top. So again, just clean my brush off and I've just put lots more of the fixing gel onto my brush. Dabbing it on the eyelid. And then into the glitter. And that's the glitter on. So just to um, blend the glitter in a wee bit more, if I can find my brush, I'm going to use a wee bit of Magic Duct again and just load up my um, brush with it and then just simply press it down the corners of it just to blend it in that wee bit more. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to the eyebrows just before um, I wipe any fallout off her face. So I'm just going to fill in her eyebrows. I'm using the Anastasia eyebrow brush and the Freedom Dip Brow Pomade in medium. So now that I have the brows filled in roughly, I'm now going to take my MAC concealer palette and the brow line brush by Soeva and carve them out. Okay, so I've done the other eyebrow and I've just cleaned up underneath her eyes with a wee baby wipe um, just to get any fallout and stuff away. Okay, so now I'm just going to do a wee bit of eyeliner. I'm using the Inglot 77 Gel Eyeliner on a MAC 266 brush. Just a simple line like that. We're not going to do anything too dramatic um, because we are going to go in with quite big lashes today. So... Um, just a nice straight line across the lid. So now we're going to move on to um, Eden's base. So we're going to use the one heck of a blot um, primer by Soap and Glory. I'm just going to um, pop this on with my hands. My hands are clean. Um, so I'm just going to pop this on to just really her T-zone areas. Um, I love this primer so it'll be really good to keep on her makeup all night long. And then I am going to use the Revlon Colorstay Foundation in the shade 330 Natural Tan. And I'm going to pop this on with my finger and blend it out with a Morphe A31 brush. We're going to go for a real full, flawless, uh, full coverage flawless base today. So I'm going to pop on quite a lot, although this is quite full coverage already. And I'm just going to press it on rather than buff it in because I find you get the best coverage with this result with this um, technique and then just to lighten that up a wee bit because I do think it's slightly dark for Eden today I'm going to add some of the 180 just to the kind of the center of the face just to shear it out that wee bit and then for concealer, I'm taking Naked Skin by Urban Decay in the shade Light. And I'm just going to apply that with the brush that um, I applied the eyeshadow primer on. And then I'm going to blend it out with the Morphe G2 brush. Then I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Translucent, Translucent Setting Powder with just on a wee Morphe brush. Tap it off and press it under the eyes just to set it. I'm not going to bake because I think baking sometimes can make the makeup look a wee bit cakey under the eyes. So I'm just going to press it on lightly. And then to set the rest of the foundation again I'm just using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder just on a big powder brush. and pressing it in the skin and not swiping because you will move all the products that you have just put on. And then I'm going to take my Inglot Freedom Palette and I'm going to mix between the dark contour shade and the light contour shade just with the uh, contour brush and contour Eden's cheekbones. Just like that and then I'm going to take a bit of the MAC Give Me Some Bronzer on the Morphe M527 bronzing brush and just run this round kind of where you would more or less contour.
I'm then going to get my Ben Nye Press Color Palette. This is the blusher one. I'm just going to use mostly this kind of mauve blush here with just a big, it look, almost looks like a powder brush. Tap it off and just run this through the apples of Eden's cheeks. For highlighter, we're going to go for quite a strong highlight. So we're going to use my new, I think it's pronounced Shea, um, highlighter that I got yesterday. It's in the shade Topaz. The packaging is so nice, although you can see your fingerprints all over it. Um, and I'm just going to use the Morphe M510 highlighting brush. I'm going to get a good bit onto the brush and just apply it to the cheekbones. So now we're going to move on to underneath the eyes. We're going to get Cocoa Bar with our middle um, blending brush and just smoke out underneath the eyes. We're bringing this quite far down because we want this look to be really nice and smoky. We're going to get the smallest brush that we've had the black on and we're going to dip it into Espresso. And we're going to put this into the real outer corners. Then I'm going to get a black eyeliner because we're going to smoke out the lash line even more. We're going to use the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil and run this through the bottom lash line. I'm not wanting to bring out the black too, too much on the bottom lash line. So we're going to get a bit of black just on this really small, small brush and just run it right as close to the lash line as we can. And then we're just going to get the brush that we had Cocoa bar on and just blend the bottom lash line again. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is apply some mascara and lashes and then finish off the lips. While the eyelashes are drying, I'm going to move on to your lips. So I'm going to get the stripped down pencil by MAC. Um, just sharpen that up. Aiden has really good lips, so we're going to go for a nice nude. I'm going to use the NYX, or the NARS, sorry. It's kind of like a liquid lipstick and overheated. Um, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous colour. Although I think this was limited edition. So now, hopefully our eyelashes are ready to be set on. Jack it up. Just like that, going really, really glam with the eyelashes. So I'm just going to get a wee bit of mascara if you look up. I run this through the bottom lashes just to kind of balance it out because the top lashes are so dramatic. There you go, that is the finished look. So I hope you like it guys, I hope you like these sort of tutorials. If you want to, me to do any more tutorials on my fans, please let me know and yeah, thank you for watching and please thumbs up this video if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much, bye!